If you're looking for a quick easy meal, this go and meatball curry is just the one for you. Hi, you're watching Plating It with Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with ease. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you press that bell icon, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Succulent bundles of ground beef are simmered in a spiced coconut curry to form the ultimate comfort food. Check this out. Now, let's get started. For this recipe, we're gonna go in with 500 grams of lean ground beef, and we're gonna season it with one teaspoon of salt and approximately half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. For some earthy flavors, we're gonna go in with half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of cumin powder, and two finely chopped garlic cloves. Now to that, we're gonna add approximately one eighth cup, which is about 30 grams of finely chopped red onion, and to that we're going to add 1 fourth cup, which is approximately 8 to 9 grams of finely chopped coriander or cilantro. For a little bit of spice, we're going to add 1 finely chopped green chili. And for a bit of tang, approximately 1 tablespoon of lemon juice. To bring the meatballs together, we're going to go in with half a cup of plain breadcrumbs, the finer the better, and 2 large eggs. Now let's go in and mix this all together. Okay, that's looking well mixed. Now let's form the meatballs. We're gonna go ahead and roll up the meatballs and we're gonna keep them to a medium size, approximately an inch and a half in diameter and weighing about 30 grams each. Just gonna take a small bit and roll it, putting a little pressure so that it stays firm together. We're going to cover these up with a plastic wrap. We're going to place this in the refrigerator so that the breadcrumbs get a chance to soak and all the flavors get a chance to mingle together. In that time, we're going to prepare our curry. To a heated pot, we're going to add three tablespoons of vegetable oil. And we're going to flavor it with four curry leaves, four cloves, four cardamoms, and about a two inch stick of cinnamon. And I'm going to keep it whole so it becomes convenient to pick it out before we serve the curry. We're just going to roast them for a little bit so that the oil gets flavoured with the spices. And once the spices are well roasted, we're going to add in one cup of finely chopped red onion. And we're going to saute this and allow the onions to fry till they turn golden. The onions have turned golden, so it's time to add in half a tablespoon of ginger paste and one tablespoon of garlic paste. And we're going to saute it till they lose their raw flavor. And to that we're going to add in three tablespoons of tomato puree. Or if you wanted, you could add in one finely chopped tomato. We're going to saute this and allow it to cook till the oil separates from the mixture. Once the oil begins to separate from the onion and tomato mix and we know that the tomato is well cooked, it's time to add in one tablespoon of Kashmiri chili powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder and one teaspoon of cumin powder. We're going to give it a mix and allow it to cook till the spices get well blended together. To make our curry, we're going to add one and a half cup of water and one cup of creamy coconut milk. We're going to mix this together till they get well combined. And we're going to season the curry with one and a half teaspoon of sugar and one teaspoon of salt. You could add both sugar and salt to your taste. On a medium heat, we're going to allow this to cook and come to a simmer. And now that the curry is simmering, we're going to add half a teaspoon of garam masala and two slit green chilies. 
We're going to give this a stir and allow it to simmer for another two to three minutes. It's time to toss in the meatballs. So we're going to gently place them all around. Now we're going to cover this and allow it to cook for about five minutes on a low heat. Now we're going to take off the lid and give the meatballs a swirl. Now that the meatballs have all got well coated and they have turned around, we're going to cover it up and cook it for 20 minutes on a low heat. The meatballs are now cooked. We're going to switch off the stove and garnish it with some finely chopped coriander or cilantro. We're going to give it one final swirl. And now we're going to plate it. Oh my goodness, look at that. And now it's time to give the meatball curry a taste. And I'm going to have it with some rice, but you could always enjoy it with some sanas or bread. Going with some nice steaming hot white rice. Wow, the curry is nice and thick. And I'm going in for the meatball on the top. Wow, the meatballs are so nice and soft. Mmm. Wow, this meatball curry is so tasty and it's my go-to for a weeknight meal because it gets ready before you can say one, two, three. For the full recipe, log on to my website, platingitwithwendy.com. Thanks for watching. See you soon.